Schmack and Magab, everybody. It's time for another track by track album battle, and I'm putting Rush against Rush. <laughs> this is the box set. 200 gram, not 180. 200 gram sounds fantastic. A lot of cool little things in here. Which one do I like more? You know, that is a really tough question for me, but I'm, I'm going to say this one, but not by much. I love Signals. In my opinion, I don't think Rush has made a better album than Signals since Signals. You know, I, I pretty much like every album before this album more than Signals. Yeah, I do. But every album that came after, and I do, I love Grace Under Pressure. I, lo I love Clockwork Angels, Counterparts. They did have some great albums. Not as good as this, in my opinion. So let's go head-to-head -head with the first Rush album versus Signals. Let's do this. All right. We start off with Finding My Way versus Subdivisions. Woo! You know, I don't think uh, I have put the first Rush album in all my track-by-track -track battles where Finding My Way has ever lost. And um, it has now. I got to go with Subdivisions. I, I love Finding My Way, but I got to go with Subdivisions. Love that song. All right, then uh, Need Some Love versus Analog Kid. Wow, another one for Signals. I love Analog Kid. The song is very underrated. Heavy, great, great melody. I, I absolutely adore that song. Wow, two for Signals, zero for the first Rush album. Take a Friend versus Chemistry. You know... I like Take a Friend, <laughs> another one for Signals. Chemistry, I don't know, man. I think it may be my favorite song off Signals. I'd have to think about it. Probably a toss-up between that and Analog Kid. Another one for Signals, three to zero, wow. All right, Hereafter, now that's a great one. Let's see if that, can, that will win against Digital Man. Yeah. I like Digital Man. I do dig it, but I'm going to give that one to here, here again. All right. Now we flip both albums over, and we got What You Doing. Great rocking tune. I don't think it's going to lose, but then again, I don't know what it's going to go against. Let's find out. Uh, the, oh, the weapon. Whoa. I'm giving that one to the first Rush album, What You're Doing, but man, the weapon is awesome. It is awesome, but I'm going to give the edge to What You're Doing because it fucking rocks. But man, the weapon is amazing. One of my favorite tracks on here, too. All right, In the Mood versus New World Man. I don't regret saying this. New World Man. Not, not against uh, In the Mood, but it's a little too rocky rolly. Not one of my favorites. Um, before and After versus Losing It. Well, both songs are really good, but you know what? It's a no-brainer for me. Before and After rules. It's probably my second favorite song off the album. It's not probably. It is my second favorite song off the album. Losing it, not one of my favorite soft signals, but it is a good tune. All right, but my favorite song off the Rush album is Working Man. So I'll never forget, like, when I first heard that song on the radio when I was a little kid, and I was like, I knew the Rush album, the first Rush album was at my local rec record store, and I went and cut lawns, and that was the next album I bought. Right when I heard Working Man cut lawns, bought that one. I used to buy, I used to cut lawns and just make enough for one album. And uh, I picked the first rush and boy was I happy because as a little kid buying that album and putting it on, I loved it. A lot of people compare this album to Led Zeppelin. Oh, it's like a Led Zeppelin. I don't hear it. I don't know why. I just don't hear it. I mean, maybe, you know, some of Getty's high pitch screams kind of matches uh Robert Plant at times, but musically, I don't hear it. I don't. I don't think it sounds like Zeppelin. All right, so Working Man versus uh, Countdown, right? Yeah, Countdown. Yeah, Working Man. Working Man. So look at that. Rush 
Signals was so much in the lead, but guess what? Rush one got four. Signals? Four. It's a tie. I love when that happens. It doesn't happen much often, but it happened here. Both great albums, and you know what? They're very close. I like them a lot. Uh, I listen to Signals more, but I listen to the first Rush album quite a bit, especially when I got this baby, 200 gram. If this is still available, I highly recommend you get it. I don't know if I've ever done an unboxing to this, but trust me, a lot of cool shit in there. Posters, uh, and so on. Anyway, uh, put your track by track on, on the comments below if you love both those albums and you want to pick what's, what's what. And uh, if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel and click that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get notifications when I put stuff up. Thank you for watching, everybody. Schmack a gob. This video was brought to you by Miami Metal Merchant. For your metal needs and competitive prices, visit MiamiMetalMerchant.com. Tell them Dr. Fuck sent you. A lot of you been asking for it. Schmack them a gob merch. Yes, many types of shirts, long sleeves, short sleeves, hoodies, you name it. Plus other stuff like shower curtains and bedspreads and mugs and socks and clocks. And oh, I can go on. But why should I? The link is below. Just click the link below in the description for all the schmack em a gob merch. Order yours now. Smack them a gob. You asked for it? Well, it's finally here by popular demand. The Dr. Fuck shirt at redbubble.com. Also available in many other styles, including hoodies. The link is in the description below. Buy yours now. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault. We're on Spreaker, we're on iTunes, and we're on YouTube. Check it out and subscribe. Hey, Headbangers, you want your own radio show? Well, you got it. On Thursday nights here on that metal station, join me on the Dr. Fuck Show. Go in the chat room, and I will make you my co-host. That's right. Everybody that joins me in the chat room, I discuss whatever you guys want to talk about. I'll mention your name. I'll say what you say, and we're going to go back and forth, and I'll even fucking play whatever request you want, unless it sucks. Then I ain't playing it because my show rules and only songs that rule is allowed right here on that metal station. The Dr. Fuck Show airs live Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hope to see you there. Well, no, no, fuck that hope. I better see you there, motherfucker.